in the mouth. In those cases. Yeah. And so the difference between Nautilus and Leona, even though they're always mentioned in pairing, is that Leona relies on stuns, which are reduced by tenacity, and Nautilus has the knockups regardless. Yeah. Um, so also, you know, the, the mini stuns combined with those knockups, but um, definitely will always be useful, especially with the point and click. And we do get the Renata. This, this champ is uncharacteristically tanky for a, you know, yeah. Not hovering long enough though, as Gala pushes up Here the we lane. Go. start laying down some spheres. Ming, a relatively squishy back. boy. He does not have aftershock. That's gonna be the handshake. They're pulling him back. Ignite ticking way in the area though. Unified maybe overstaying now as he gets hooked back in. Oh, that was not the play that he wanted in the flash while he's still burning. Now Gala on the hunt, cleansing the exhaust. They're gonna push for more. Level six comes in just in time off the wave. Doesn't have vision. Doesn't want to dive. Will not go for it. Just in time to walk away. Here comes Lee Sin, though, for the answer. Juhan, now there's no Nocturne Ultimate for a counter counter. Here we go. Uh -huh. High stakes spotlight play. Juhan does connect the Q. He's going to go in. Lead nice. back. Instantly already ready with the ward hop. Flash forward. That's going to be one slow Ming. Unified wants to step forward, trying to jump in. Q, where's it going to go? Oh, no. That hurts. They're really fishing here. Bay does have level six. Ulti. Finish him with the ultimate. Now he gets the reset. Can go back for the Nautilus. There's absolutely no way Mink can get out of this one. He just gets to pick who he dies to. Goodbye, my friend. It was nice knowing oh, you. Oh, pulled back. Will not get the hook on the Lee Sin under tower. Well played by PSG to fire back with the response on the bottom side. Yes, this is really, really nice. Bay, 1-0-1. One, one. The gold's going to be pretty close, but Shahu pulling very far ahead in terms of individual CS. Yeah. That's your, your price that you always pay for these roams. Uh, meanwhile, Lee Sin we can't see where he's going. The early flash over the wall. Way just anticipating the play. I don't think it was necessary, but he wanted those tethers connected. That's one of those ones where you want to be one step ahead of your enemy, but sometimes... Especially... Bin, though. He is definitely caught. Yes. <laughs> Under a tower that maybe he should not be. Ignited early just to make sure that there's nothing else for him, but he heals so much! Not enough to get a kill back in favor, but definitely sweating a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sweating! 4v1 under tower! Uh, it's gonna be a dragon and a mid tower in uh -huh. payment as well. Uh -huh. Not a not a great trade. Uh huh. But Bin has them so close to all the. Although PSG knew, hey, if we go top right now in our timing, we're f never mind. This man, a charm magnet, living for now, but gets popped by the bomb in the end. Two more charges now for Xiaohu, but it doesn't look like they're going to continue to extend the play. Yeah. So even though PSG knew they were going to give up the the dragon there for that play, they opt to make this top play overload. Really smooth, baby. <laughs> Honestly, let's get into uh, to this bottom side play because they're chasing down Kick Nocturne back. now. Kick back, Ming! He's so good I, at I'm it! telling you, the buffers with Nocturne, it's sick. I want to, where's the crowd cheers? For everybody else, you know, Nautilus, relatively squishy champion, hold that thought. Nocturne now moving in, has been locked up, but no, perfect spell shield denies any potential CC. Oh, uh, Yahoo's not even going to participate! It's just a solo kill! Yeah, and, and again, the, the little things here, the, the Q as you're flying in and your ult for Nocturne but you, you have to be so good with your ulti. It's also really hard because... Oh, Ooh. hold that thought. Juggler Hello. rooted up, knocked down. Ulti coming in from way, but he's holding on to it for now. He just uses it to retreat, leveraging the darkness. Now there's a Vex caught in the middle of the team. The hook goes a little bit wide as Bay zooms out to safety just in time. Bin now focusing on Kaiwen. Kaiwen completely isolated. Not going to handshake anything. Hanabi, the next target. The rest of PSG on the retreat, trying as a three-man unit to make their way out, but the bomb is ticking on Hanabi. He'll heal up from the ult, but it is not enough. RNG control on the top side. Jungle can set their sights on this Baron. Bing was just surprised to receive that present. He was like, whoa, there's a Lee Sin right in front of my face. Hello, sir. Hooks him right in. Gala gets the kill. RNG massacre. Pretty with respect. Don't match that keyboard. Someone who might be matching their keyboard right now. Bay. Gala's in design. He's buying himself a bit more time to kick back. But sadly, the root flawlessly timed from Xiao, who means Bay has no way out of this one. Well, your only way out is back to the fountain. Call back to 2016, where RNG threw a 17,000 gold lead, where they had three inhibitor lead against CLG. PSG, that could be you. Hook goes in. PSG, is this their time? Ben already in the midst of their entire team. Nocturne all now coming out, kicking back. Gala kicked into the team, but nobody oh, can oh, see. Oh. Then he's out of position because of the darkness. Oh, and that's going to be at least in a lot of energy. Hanabi stepping forward, but there is nothing left. RNG will not throw this one away, but maybe Bay finding an engage on the backside. It's a decent Bernardo. It's unified, still standing, but no, there's just too much damage. They're just beating them with their wallets. RNG will take the game, moving up to two and one. 
All right, the hope for the revenge matches.